Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. And I'm Rod Wood. Fever, body aches like a runny nose. The telltale signs of the flu are everywhere. And with kids heading back to class this week, parents aren't alone. As News Channel 9's Rob Hackford tells us, school districts are also fighting to keep our kids healthy. <laughs> With the number of flu cases spiking across Onondaga County, two days back from winter break, a full classroom like this one isn't common across the North Syracuse School District. There's definitely more people getting it this year, I've noticed, and it's kind of rippled through my grade. And then that'll start releasing the disinfectant. But with some students returning sick or catching the flu from family, this year the district is ramping up with this futuristic product from Clorox. I mean, we have certain spots that we do target, um, phones, desks, um, pencil sharpeners, things like that. Mm -hmm. But we don't know where if somebody may have touched a wall or something like that where the, the flu virus can hang out. Instead of a rag, this gun is spraying electrically charged disinfectant that sticks to viruses and germs. And according to Jeff Crook, kills them within one to two minutes. We just did the entire classroom in less than a minute and got close to 100% coverage. Mm -hmm. So it's great technology. And a big difference from the past. Much, much, much different. Uh, someone would be running around with a spray bottle, could never get all the surfaces that we covered. Keyboards, computers, even pencil sharpeners. When the district sees a drop in attendance, this will be their new line of defense. This is just going to give us a more comprehensive coverage. Um, where we don't have to necessarily have two or three people in here hitting, hitting places where they think is going to be the issue. A tool that will hopefully keep more kids healthy in North Syracuse. At CNS High School, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. The disinfectant is the same type used in Clorox wipes, and once sprayed in the classroom, it's safe to enter after a few minutes. This will be the first week this new machine is in use.